Hello friends, welcome to a new 3ds Max tutorial. This is Gökçe from cgk.com and today we are going to continue learning about the edge sub-object mode. Let's create a box to start with and then let's add an edit poly modifier. Then I'm going to hit 2 and see the rest of our comments or tools we want to learn. Now the first thing is insert vertex. This is a tool that I don't use really that much but I will tell you why in a minute. Uh, anyways, I want to show you what it does anyways so i'm going to just click on this click on an edge and you can see that it creates a vertex on the desired location the reason i don't use this uh, that much is it creates those undesired five edged faces okay in here as well we have a five edged face uh, these are not very good for 3ds max we usually want to work with quad polygons not uh, five edged polygons okay so i'm going to hit backspace to delete it uh, if you hit delete you know that it will also delete the faces we learned about this in the previous lessons so i'm going to hit backspace to get rid of that vertex i'm going to hit two again if you want to create a vertex like that i what i recommend you to do is select this hit alt r and create uh, click on connect that way you can create this vertex and you have all quad polygons uh, around okay this is uh, very cool this is the right way to do it at least i'm going to hit two again uh, the next command i want to talk about is the split command uh, which splits the model into two if you select this loop for example double clicking uh, on it and hit split you can see that when i go to the element mode this is a separate element now uh, i'm going to hit five to go to the element mode and select this and you can see that this is a separate element. It split the object into two elements, not into two objects. This is very important because we didn't use the detach tool as we learned from before, but we have used the split tool. So it splits the object into two elements. I'm going to hit uh, control Z, control Z again to, um, to join these again. Yeah. Okay. Now the, uh, Next tool I want to show you is the remove, remove tool, which we will use really a lot. Uh, uh, but I don't really recommend you to click on this. Uh, I'm going to show you why. Uh, as you know, the shortcut for remove is backspace. But if you use only backspace or if you only click remove, uh, Max does this weird thing where it doesn't really erase the vertices. So it only removes the edges. If, let's hit uh, on this and see what it does. When I go to the vertex mode, you can see that we have these vertices uh, all around. And this is very ugly because these are all uh, six edged uh, faces. And as I told you from before, it's very work on a model uh, created this way. So uh, what I want to do uh, instead of this is I'm not going to use backspace, but I'm going to uh, use control backspace, which will also get rid of the vertices when I go into the vertex mode, you will see that uh, we don't have any uh, vertices sticking around. Okay. All right. Now, the next thing I want to show you is the extrude. Uh, let's create uh, that edge loop again. What extrude does is it creates an extrusion from that uh, edge. It may sound a little bit weird uh, when you're extruding edges, but uh, it works like this. I use this uh, tool uh, a lot as well. Um, so I want to show this to you. Uh, you can see that it creates a triangular extrude from that edge you have selected. You can set the height and the, the uh, width values, uh, which will change these uh, options, as you can see in the scene, the screen. Um, we can create an indent, for example, like this in here. Uh, as you can see, you don't need to really separate the objects to create indents or seams like this, but um, I guess this is a more solid way to do it. Uh, I use this for different purposes. Uh, we will uh, see those purposes in the examples, so don't worry. Okay, uh, we have seen chamfer, we have seen bridge, connect. Uh, weld and target weld works like the uh, vertex weld and target weld uh, tools. Let's split this to see it. I'm going to split this uh, edge again, edge loop again, and split this object into two elements now if you just hit two and click on target weld you can see that you can 
weld this to this edge in here and it creates this kind of shape. It's, it's a little bit different than bridge because bridge creates a new face in between. Uh, target weld just moves the uh, moves one of the edges, the first clicked edge actually, to the second clicked edge and it welds uh, the corner vertices. So it's a little bit uh, a faster way to do um, a vertex target weld. And weld again does the same thing. I guess you can imagine what it does. Let's select both of these edges and just click on the settings near the weld and then increase the threshold and see that it will snap in the middle. Let's increase this. Yeah. Uh, when I input the appropriate threshold, you can see that they have welded uh, in the middle. Okay. Now, uh, another tool uh, I'm going to use is uh, the Create Shape tool, which is very cool. You will see what it does. Uh, let's create a new edge loop for this. If you uh, select this edge loop and click on Create Shape, I always, nearly always, like 90% of the time, I recommend you to choose Linear. Hit OK, and you can see that it created a new shape, a new editable spline from that edge selection, and you can just introduce a thickness to this for example like this and it creates new edges like that uh, for example if you are trying to create uh, pipes along a pillow for example let's see a similar example let's increase the segments let's apply a turbo smooth for example on top of this and I can add and edit poly on top and just hit to double click on this edge loop and create shape. And let's create another shape from this. And you can see that we can create the, those pipe uh, things uh, along the uh, along a pillow or anything. I know this is a, a little bit of a solid looking pillow. Uh, we will talk more about this when we see the cloth modifier. But for, for now, you can, I guess you can imagine what I mean uh, with this example. Okay. All right. These are the edge uh, tools I want to show you. And now uh, we are going to continue creating this model. Let me pull the reference image in so that we can see uh, what we were aiming. Let's hit L for, the, for this piece in here. Uh, I'm going to disable the chamfers again. Uh, by the way, you can see that if I disable the chamfer for this one, it disables all of them because we have we created this with copying and pasting as instance. So it is trying to match the properties of this chamfer with every chamfer in the scene, with all the chamfers in the scene. Uh, you can separate this with this button, make unique. If you only want to uh, play with one of the chamfers uh, properties, then you can make uh, any of these unique if you want to. For now, it uh, won't really matter but I'm going to choose the box uh, tool again uh, command and I'm going to hit S and create this shape in here let's input minus 2 for the height and uh, I'm going to add an edit poly on top select the ah, sorry uh, we, we did have these segments so if I hit F4 we had a lot of segments let's get rid of these uh, I'm going to just go to the edit poly hit 2 select the bottom uh, edges and pull them up two centimeters in the z-axis to create this height in here. Now to create this shape, uh, I would use a, a turbo smooth, but uh, we haven't seen that yet. We don't know uh, how to use turbo smooth yet, so uh, I'm going to model this by hand. Uh, but you will see what I mean in the turbo smooth uh, lesson. For now, let's just try to create something similar to this. I'm going to select this edge, hit Alt R for the ring and hit connect and I'm going to create 12 edges and I'm going to increase the pinch value so that they are closer to the edges like this. Okay, then I'm going to hit one and I'm going to select these three edges, uh, vertices and these three vertices and pull them up a little bit. And maybe these two and pull them up. And then I'm going to just pull these up and pull these down. And you can see that when I hit F4, it looks uh, similar to this. But when you get closer, you can see these uh, segments. As I told you, I'm going to tell you how to get rid of these with Turbo Smooth. But for now, let's leave it at 
uh, that this is close enough uh, for this stage. Okay, uh, let's also assign the same chamfer to here as well. And let's enable that chamfer. And you can see the seams in between. Okay, so uh, now let's create a copy of this for this side. I'm going to ch choose two of these, hit T, uh, hold shift and move these uh, here. Uh, I don't want them to be instant, so let's undo this. And this time I'm going to choose copy as I clone it. I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees. And then I'm going to place this. Hit F3. Uh, and then uh, I can just hit edit poly, hit one, select all the edges, which is the shortcut for this is control A. You can just hit control A and it will select all the vertices or all the edges, whatever uh, sub object mode you are under. And then you can scale these in. Okay. Hit one again to get out of the vertex mode. Select this one, go to edit poly, hit one, control A, and then scale this down as well. Okay, and now we have these sides as well. And the rest of it is, uh, I guess you can uh, even tell what I'm going to do. But one thing I want to uh, get rid of is uh, here is this should be 45 degrees, I guess. It's not very cool uh, looking like this. So I'm going to just select these uh, vertices and bring these in a little bit this way to look more solid, I guess. And then I'm going to select these two, add a symmetry modifier on top. Change this to Y, hit one and move this in. Let's hit flip and align this to this rectangle in here. And do the same for this one. Symmetry, hit one, align this and flip. Okay, I guess this is it. We have created, I guess this is this was the most complicated model we have created yet. So you can be proud of yourself if you did this. Uh, if you created this, by the way, I recommend you to share it in our Facebook group, CGK. You can uh, search for it or uh, tag us on Instagram and share it. I'm going to definitely uh, see that and make comments uh, about your model. Okay, thanks for listening. I hope this was useful. If you find it useful, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell next to the sub subscribe button. Thanks for listening. See you in the next lesson.